hey guys welcome back to my channel so i get questions about um, how i select songs for my youtube videos i also get questions about where i source for songs for my youtube videos so if you're interested in that sort of thing please keep watching and by way of introduction guys especially for those stopping here for the very first time my name is henrietta i am a lawyer and i also classify myself as somebody who likes to do techie stuff so be sure to connect with me if you're interested in things like you know how to edit your youtube videos the things to avoid when you are uploading your content to any platform Form, the types of gadget that you can use to achieve a particular type of result the things that you need to be doing and the things you need not do if you're going to be utilizing some of these social media platforms if you're interested in that sort of thing or you're interested in guidance about that sort of thing be sure to connect with me by subscribing to this channel you could also connect with me on all of my other social media platforms i'll leave the information down in the description bar below anyway yeah let's just get right into the video guys There's no downplaying the importance of music when it comes to um, putting out a creative work because the goal would be to elicit or evoke some type of response from your audience. If you're going for something upbeat and funky, the perfect song will be able to do that for you. So I enjoy using music in my content because it just takes my content to a whole nother level. When it comes to selecting songs, you have to be intentional. Um, I remember I was editing a video one time and I was trying to relay something upbeat and funky and then by the time I put a song on that video, it just seemed like <laughs> I was sad, like it made the video so sad. So when it comes to selecting songs, you just want to be very, very careful. You first of all want to think about what mood you are trying to extract or get your audience to receive. Once you have that in mind, when you put a song over it, it pretty much tells you, or when you even watch it, in addition to the sound, you could tell what kind of feeling you're having. And you know, more often than not, it's an accurate representation of what your audience would also feel. For the most part, I get my songs. <laughs> especially for my youtube content anyway i get my songs from the youtube um, audio studio and the only thing i'm going to say when it comes to using the youtube studio studio music <laughs> you want to make sure that you are reading the terms of use and the end user agreement all of the songs they are free to use in your youtube videos and you can monetize that video but there are some songs that require you to acknowledge the author of that sound so you want to make sure that you are looking at every single song that you download if it requires you to give credit to the author maybe by either putting his name and the sound and the link to his website in the description ensure that you do that because if you do not do that you're going to get a copyright strike from youtube and you do not want that the second thing that you need to take into consideration is you want especially if you're using it for other platforms you want to ensure that um, whatever license that the author of that song has given to youtube equally applies to the platform where you are going to be using that audio for there are some authors that just give youtube alone that license so if you use the same audio on instagram you might get flagged and your video your content can be taken down for a violation so you want to be extremely careful with that another thing when it comes to using um, audio on youtube is depending on the type of license that youtube that the author has given youtube you might not be able to modify the sound you might not be able to remix the sound you might not be able to play around with the sound you might not be able to add all that audio clips to the sound so you just want to be very very careful when it comes to using music on any platform period whether it's free or whether it's not you just want to be extremely careful you want to ensure that you are reading the fine print you want to ensure that you are staying within the confines of the license that you have been given um, you could just google it straight up or you could go into your youtube studio and you have access to the songs there um, so what i like to do is i like to filter my song so i mean it's, it can be overwhelming if you have all of these songs to, to select from but once i know what mood i'm going for all i need to do is click on the filter button and filter the song so if i'm going for something more uh soulful you know you could you could do that if i'm going for something more um upbeat you can go for upbeat funky you could also search for songs by um, title if you know the name of the author you could also search for songs by the author um, you could search for songs by genre you could search for songs by mood you could search for songs pretty much <laughs> according to what they have on the platform um, the second place that i get my audio from and I'm, i've mentioned this particular platform i'm sure in like one two three videos you guys already know that i use um wonder chef Filmora to edit my videos and i paid for the lifetime version by the way guys uh, i just saw on their website that they're offering 20 dollars off so at the time that i paid for wonder chef Filmora, i paid about 79.99 or something like that but now oh my goodness that <laughs> they are offering the lifetime version for 
$59.99 I believe like how cool is that like, I feel jealous honestly the lifetime version that I have allows me access to I believe over a hundred songs and over 50 or 100 sound effects of course you could pay for the monthly version you could pay for the yearly version I think there's a premium plan as well that gives you oh my goodness more access to sounds sound effects and stuff like that so that's something you definitely want to be taking advantage of if you are you know if you are trying to save some money and you're looking for a an affordable video editing software that gives you access to some of these songs um, you have the added option of if you like a song for instance selecting that song and paying for that particular song even though you are a like your version is a lifetime version so that's some of the advantages that i like or enjoy with using the wondershare filmora platform it gives me free music i don't need to think about it i mean compared to youtube where i need to think about oh does this song require commercial attribution all of the songs that you have on wondershare filmora are pretty much especially if you pay for a version are pretty much um usable anywhere across multiple platforms so you can use it on youtube you can use it on instagram you can use it on twitter you don't need to worry you could actually reach out to some authors or creators like if somebody has created a piece like um, a song and you know their name you can actually reach out to them to ask questions about you know terms of use if you are not clear so those are pretty much where i source for songs of course you could source for songs there are a million and one other platforms that you could source for songs i know a lot of youtubers use epidemic sounds um, and that's because they offer i think a larger wider range of songs that you can use a wider range of even contemporary or modern songs that people like to use and you could use it across multiple platforms for me that is even what is the most important if you're going to pay for any platform that allows you to use their song you do not want to limit it to just one platform alone so you want to pay for something that allows you to duplicate that song everywhere so yeah you definitely want to be expressing yourselves you want to be creating don't be scared to use songs a lot of people are scared to use songs because they just feel like oh they might make a mistake the only reason why you're scared is because you do not understand it and the reason why you do not understand it is because you have not read up on it so like I said and I always emphasize this you want to make sure that you do your independent research not just about whether this platform allows you to use their song but also whether the author allows you to use their song in a particular way or whether the author allows you to alter their song or whether the platform allows you to alter their song all of this information is available online if you are not sure you could go the extra mile of emailing or asking I find that a lot of people don't understand that most of these platforms are run by actual human beings and obviously when you're engaging with them or when you reach out to them you are having an issue with using their platform or using their resources so they are always eager to respond to you don't be scared to reach out to them to say this is my challenge this is xyz even if they don't respond immediately they will always respond to you because they want you to come out there and say oh i got top-notch customer service guys i always emphasize the importance of customer review yeah so they want you to come out there and say oh i got top-notch customer service they want you to come out there and say oh this platform has an amazing array of songs that you could say they want you to push their products for them so don't be scared to reach out to them if you're unsure about anything don't be scared to reach out to them um so yes guys that is it that's it that's it for this video if you enjoyed it please give a massive thumbs up just to address this whole instagram issue um I have done what I'm supposed to have done and I'm waiting for them to respond to me. Uh, but if you still want to connect to me on Instagram, I have created a new Instagram account, which is in the description. But you know what? Just so that you guys don't have no stress, I'll just put it right here on the screen. So you could connect with me on this Instagram account. Send me a DM. No, no, let's have a chat. You know, I'm always eager to read or hear from you guys and then respond to you. I'm always also eager to give you information that you need. So be sure to connect with me. Uh, and then don't forget to subscribe. Anyways, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, yeah.